Greetings, everyone. Welcome to e, e Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question five from the 2017 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part one of A. It says, state a function of each of the following semiconductor devices. First up, we have the transistor. The transistor is used to amplify electrical signals. Next up, we have the thermistor. So the thermistor is used to provide a change in electrical resistance when it's subjected to a change in temperature. So that's it for part one of A. For part two, it says, name two types of semiconductor materials. So the two materials are silicon and germanium. So that's it for part two of A. Part three, it says, sketch a sinusoidal waveform for each of the following changing currents. All right, so the first changing current is the analog. And here we have the waveform for the analog signal. Next up, digital signal. So this is a diagram of the digital signal. As you can see here, this is the rectangular waveform. So that's it for part three of A. Now let's move on to part B. It says figure five shows the circuit diagram of a single stage transistor amplifier. All right, so here is figure five, the transistor amplifier circuit diagram. So it says, explain the function of each of the following pairs of component in the operation of the transistor amplifier. So part one of B, R1 and R2. So R1 and R2 are the biasing resistors. They are used to establish the biasing voltage for the transistor. So this biasing voltage is what is used to turn on the transistor. For part two, the function of C1 and C2. So the capacitors C1 and C2 are used as coupling capacitors to separate the AC signals from the DC signals. So here we have a C1 and C2. All right, so that's it for part two of B. For part three, it says R4 and C3. So R4 is used to stabilize the DC bias input voltage to the amplifier, while C3 allows the AC signal to bypass R4. All right, so that's it for part three of B. All right, so next up, we have part C. It says, figure six shows the schematic drawing of a bridge rectifier circuit. So here is figure six, the bridge rectifier circuit. Part one of C, it says, outline the operation of the rectifier circuit when it supplies DC to the load resistor, RL. All right. So when an AC signal is applied across the bridge rectifier during the positive off cycle, diodes D2 and D4 becomes forward bias while D1 and D3 becomes reverse bias. During the negative off cycle, diodes D1 and D3 becomes forward bias while diode D2 and D4 becomes reverse bias. All right, so that's it for part one of C. For part two, it says briefly describe the change in the operation of the bridge rectifier circuit when one of the four diodes is open circuited. Now, when one of the diodes is open circuited, 
This prevents current from flowing through the load resistor during half of the input voltage cycle. So as a result, the circuit will no longer operate as a full wave rectifier circuit. It will now become a half wave rectifier circuit. All right, so that's it for this question.